Hi guys, it's Barry from DR Escapes and our sister channel, somethingfeelswrong.com. Uh, I want to introduce you to uh, second time visitors that um, over a period of more or less a year kind of became very close with Leanne and I. We originally met on uh, one of our DR Escapes tours and I want to introduce you to two really great people, uh, Doug and Sherry. Hi, guys. Hey. Hey. Uh, thanks for doing this uh, uh, and helping us get our message out. And I want to find out, first question with you guys is, what inspired you? Now, I know you're a fireman or were a fireman until recently. You retired. And I know you have worked in law enforcement at one time. And what else, Sherry? Uh, EMT. Uh, and EMT, EMT security work okay. at the hospital. Yeah, okay. And um, what inspired you guys to start looking at different countries and, and different ways? Uh, what is it that you were seeing or feeling that caused you to do it? And speak up so people will hear you good. Well, it started with me. I knew we were retiring at a relatively early age. And I wanted to... And initially, it was because of what was going on with the economy, trying to figure out how to make our money go as far as possible. Okay, so, so looking, initially it started with stretching a dollar. Right, okay. initially. <laughs> okay. And then as time went on, it was obvious there were other issues that began to make us feel uncomfortable at, um, at home. And uh, so well, we were... Well, well, what kind of issues, though, so our viewers will... Just, uh, that could be, what, what is it you were seeing that you're calling issues, I guess, is what I'm asking. It seemed like things have become more and more tense at home. Tense? Tense between even neighbors sometimes, but um, just wanted a more relaxed environment um, where you, I wanted to go back in time. Okay. To where people were more connected <clears throat> to one another and uh, more part of a community. Mm -hmm. Instead of isolated in our homes with our televisions and you drive off to work and come back and sit in front of the television. Okay, okay, okay. We were looking for uh, just something simple, simple lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Okay. A part, healthy, part. healthy lifestyle. Uh, of course, we love uh, being in this climate. Mm -hmm. And um, as in like a Caribbean, or yeah. Caribbean, uh, we warm love weather, the ocean, beaches. warm weather. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, as I learned more about the DR, um, learning about that there's plentiful water, food, that there's no GMOs, that all appealed to uh, the healthy aspect of a lifestyle. So are you, are you, uh, were you noticing that sliding? And yes, in, yeah, yes. it's m yes. more difficult at a decent price to find. Healthy food. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's everywhere here. So it becomes, it's not so much a burden to uh, try to eat the way Healthy, you'd like to. Healthy, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sherry, you've actually been looking into this, not seriously, but this has actually dabbled oh, yeah. in your in your head for oh, how many well, years now? Of the option of possibly maybe expatriation? Maybe 2007. Seven, yeah. Seven, eight? Yeah, mm -hmm. we started looking into other countries, mm -hmm. uh, Mexico, Belize, uh, Costa Rica, Ecuador, When I was Panama. working uh, security at the hospitals, they have little waiting rooms. Oh. Mm -hmm. And many times I worked at night after things were shut down, and there would be uh, magazines for people to to pass the time with mm -hmm. and there were things like international living oh yeah, yeah. retirement type or getaway type mm -hmm. magazines and so you know you see the uh, whatever the topics are mm -hmm. and many of them were about um, they would say you know living cheaply or living uh, living overseas stretching your dollar that kind of thing well that's always interested me you know, making your money go as far as possible. Good quality, but, you know. And so that's where it began, toying with the idea of possibly living somewhere other than the States. But I have to say I wasn't quite aware uh, of political changes in the, in the entire world. Mm -hmm. you know, I always paid attention to politics within mm -hmm. the United States, but mm -hmm. I really wasn't aware how things were connected. or, And I wasn't... Um, aware of some uh, some deceptions mm -hmm. 
uh, and things started clicking along, weren't quite making sense. Now, you visited these some of these other countries? N a few, not no. many. Uh, mostly it was research, uh, some online. When it came to, I found DR Escapes accidentally and shared it with Doug, and when it came to uh, what you were doing and, and the people that you were interviewing and what you were showing, uh, it was just much more thorough. Right. Then, um, and we had not found anything like what you what you have with DR escapes. There was no support system. There was no not presented anyway. Not, not at least not presented where, you know, hey, we live here. We know the area. We know how to live here. We've been doing it for a while. Um, you got a man that's been all over the world, with lived in six, seven countries, and you know what you're talking about. You're not in your mom's basement doing little blogs or something, you've lived it, and you're living it. Made my share of mistakes, too. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll tell you that. Well, and that's, you know. That's part of we, it. <laughs> we, we, we haven't found that where somebody's actually lived it, uh, well, living it, and can give us advice from experience, not from theory. Or, or to share information share where information. we can make our own decisions. Right. But, We've even yeah. noticed that, Leanne and I, uh, a lot of Western cultures become uh, a know-it-all by plugging a keyboard. Right. And right. That, that, that may tell you uh, a, a knowledge, but it doesn't give you wisdom. It right. doesn't give you experience, in other words. Right. right. And, uh, yeah, we run into that quite a bit where everybody's rifling off what it is to live here and live there. And, my gosh, it's really in left field. And um, right. even the people like, um, what about violence? Well, kind of look at your own nation, what about <laughs> yeah. violence? Or... You know, because I'm Canadian or American, they're going to attack. Well, nobody kills more Americans than Americans right. or Canadians than Canadians. They right. just, right. I don't know where yes. the, the scuttlebutt comes about, about the inaccuracy. I mean, I've always thought the Internet is the greatest tool in the world. Can but be. like any tool, the wielder is what holds its, right. its, uh, right. its usefulness and whether it's good or bad. When you decided to take a look on your first tour, uh, I, I know you enjoyed it. Let's mm. let's be honest. It's yes. uh, it's something that uh, the country opened up your eyes to. Probably a better lifestyle and probably a better sustainable lifestyle, more yes. importantly. I know you're both into trends, and I know you're both looking for options that might better weather the storms that mm -hmm. you feel that are coming. But I know one of the biggest issues people seem to have is family and I know you have a big family. Mm -hmm. Talk to us a little bit about how you've decided to look at it. We've uh, looked at it as not only having a, a nice place to stay but it's it's a, a place to be able to bring our family to uh, for them to have a healthy lifestyle to for them to have a safe place to live but I mean, where I'm going with this is, um, as you know, we've gotten to know each other well. Uh, we see hundreds of people, yeah. you know. And I want you to address the issue that you're addressing, because we spoke privately, about the majority of your family not getting what's going on here, mm -hmm. where this is going. Yeah. And um, I, I mean, I, I want to address that issue because that's really... That's really common, okay? Uh, yeah, we're going to yeah. touch base about older people, but I want to address the issue, particularly with right now family, uh, children, and and uh, how you're how you're tackling that because it's not an easy decision, and mm -hmm. and how what were your thoughts? What you know that are leading you to uh, ultimately a decision of of doing what you th feel you have to do? What what what's what's leading you in that direction? Having a a secure, safe environment where they could join us if they wish to at some mm -hmm. point, which would be, of course, their decision. Um, and there may be things that happen that that do make them realize or start looking and mm -hmm. understanding. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, we had at one point we considered staying in the states and possibly um, going to Florida, but from where we live. It's anywhere between four and a half to five hours, maybe six hours to six the closest hours. beaches. Mm -hmm. So the flight here is three hours. So we could still be home as quickly or nearly 
as we would from Florida if we did need, if there was some urgent reason to go, to go back home. Um, the other thing is being grandparents, we know that we can go back when the kids are out of school. We would join our family for holidays most likely and uh, maybe they would come visit us in the summer or we might go back there to be with them a while in the summer. So um, when you think about time is mostly the relative point. How quickly can we get back to our loved ones if we desired? What about the aspect of the nations changing and the uh, poop hit the blade, so to speak? That's where I want to go with this because right. um, I don't like to sugarcoat anything yeah. and I know a lot of our subscribers are facing that issue right now. Right. I can't because of the children mm -hmm. right and, and that had been a, a real struggle with me uh felt like that was abandoning my my family but um i've come to realize that um if we're there if something happens we're not going to be able to do very much being there but if we have somewhere for them to come to uh, it would be a better situation for uh, our family to have something already set up, uh, a safe haven to come to. Uh, and it took me a while to, to come to that. And uh, just uh, talking to different people, talking to you and just other people, and then uh, Sherry and I discussing it and just uh, coming to realize that um, there's not much, if it really hits the fan there, that uh, we would be able to do. Well, if you're not in a position of strength, if you're right. the same weakness as everyone around you, there's not much you can do to help one another unless you have something to offer. And if we were in, in the worst case scenario that people have talked about, where possibly um, there's no fuel for vehicles, maybe the water system is shut off for a time or maybe a long time, electricity, most of us will be stuck in or near our homes or our jobs whenever right. it ha wherever we were when it happened with no way to get anywhere except for maybe walking. Mm -hmm. Well, the distance uh, to our families from where we live is not that far driving, but to try to walk, and then if, if things were possibly violent or aggressive, we're not going to be able to just take a road and expect to carry supplies, miles, even if we have them in our home. And I don't think that they could get to us easily either. Do you feel that, um, because you live there, I, I haven't for, for decades now, mm -hmm. do you feel it's taking that turn to that direction? I do. I, I, think, I, I think it's a possibility. It's, yeah. It concerns me. Um, some things became so negative that sometimes they were overwhelming, so sometimes I would take a break from mm -hmm. the information. Like overload kind of yes, thing? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And I know that I, if I get down or... Whatever the, the moods are you go through, maybe a little frustrated or angry, I'm not going to help myself or anyone else. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have to, you know, step back, think about it, pray about it. But ultimately, I do want to know generally what's going on. So I'm usually back at it again after a while. And you have to be careful that you're checking um, and listening to reputable people. You know, we've talked about the media, how a lot of times it's, they're not projecting the, um, the truth, the truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. So, and just yeah. from, um, from my point of view, uh, being a, uh, a fireman now retired, but, uh, just a couple of years ago, we would run calls and people loved to see us. They, we were there to help, but it, the, the, climate law has changed where even we were being treated bad in a lot of cases and you know we would be in and out of people's homes and just the area that we live there was a noticeable difference in um the feel of the area you could just tell there was tension rather than or there is divide tension. and conquer yes yes mm -hmm. be it with color or stature, religion, they're, yeah. they're dividing right. people amongst oh, themselves. Yeah. And, and we witness it. Every any, day. I mean, any difference that they can, that can be played upon, whether it's religious or race or gender, or whatever, mm -hmm. there, there are divisions. Yeah. Right. And they, I've never experienced 
um, the kind of hostile climate at times that as as a child and all through my growing years I never experienced that mm -hmm. but now I can I can see it and I can feel it and it's, it it's and feel it. heartbreaking because I felt people were much more connected in the past and that's kind of what I was talking about going back to the past where I mean you can, it's not possible to go back to the past but some places are a little more laid mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, also I was going to say in regards to when you would go on a call, usually someone has a medical emergency, typically, and you're going into someone's home to help, maybe a family member, neighbor, whatever, and you would be considered a blessing. You're there helping someone who needs assistance. Mm -hmm. But when you come in, there's a tension and an air of mistrust. I mean, you're there to do your job, but it's like, well, I would prefer someone different than you were in my home. How long ago in your careers did you start noticing that change? Is it a year? Is it five years? Is three, what, maybe four? Maybe two? No, I, well, maybe t less. Two to three years, maybe. You started maybe. noticing mm -hmm. that change. I did. Yeah, interesting.